Tuesday. Today is March 25th and I figured that I would vlog a quick little day in my life as a grad student studying English. So if you're new to my channel, my name is Sarah Fisher. I go to Indiana University, but because of COVID, I'm currently living at home in Miami, Florida. Um, I will be returning back to Bloomington definitely before next fall when classes resume face to face. I'm in my third year in the program and it's a pretty busy time in my life right now as I'm working on prepping my reading list for my comprehensive exams to advance to like PhD candidacy in the fall. So today is going to be a pretty productive day. It's already a little after 1 p.m. This morning I woke up, had myself a little morning, got some grading done. I just zoomed for a little while with the writing center. I am a writing center tutor um, and I teach public speaking. So now I am going to take this next hour to continue working on some projects for class. And then from two to four, I have two sessions where I'm tutoring in the writing set. I'm also wearing this Florida Gators t-shirt because I went to UF for undergrad and go Gators. Okay, so right now I am working on a class project. I think I mentioned it in my last vlog where basically throughout the semester we pick an issue that we want to focus on. Um, and we talked about why we're interested in it, what the issue is basically, and now we had to pick one particular journal. So for me, I chose a writing center journal, WCJ, and we have to go back and um, examine the, the three, but I chose five in my case, most recent year's worth of publication. And what we had to do basically was to say, in these publications, how is our issue being discussed? So I spent a very long time yesterday, like pretty much the whole day, looking through those articles, um, reading abstracts, um, skimming the ones that seemed necessary, reading where necessary, reading where I just happened to get caught up in ones that were super interesting, um, pulling out common themes and writing up a document um, that explains it all. And my professor had four specific questions that he wanted us to answer. And then I'm going to go ahead and just submit that so that can be dead to me off my plate and then I could move on to the next project. It's really hard for me to have a lot of different projects going on at the same time, um, which is what grad school is. It's just like a lot of different projects going on in your different classes. And um, if you're doing a dissertation, you're teaching, all that stuff, you just have a lot of things swirling around you at all times. Um, but one thing that I have found makes it really useful is just to like take things like one project at a time. So power through this one specific assignment that I had for this class, check that off the list. Then I will allow myself to move on to the next thing. I mean, this isn't like hard and fast. Sometimes I'll be like, oh, I'm so sick of writing. Let me switch over to reading for a class. Or I'm so sick of working on this one paper. Let me switch over to the next one. But I tend to just feel so much freer and so much less anxious if I'm able to just like have it checked off my list and say, okay, I finished this writing. Now let me move on to revising the reading list or things like that. That just makes the most sense to me. And that is my advice for you. Sometimes my mom will make like a big batch of pasta salad and then I'll just scoop myself some for lunch and it stores really well in the fridge and it is so yummy. That pasta salad didn't fill me, fill me up. So I just made a little charcuterie board for one. I bought this at like a home goods and I just think it's the cutest little thing. Just an apple and some cheese. Just finished tutoring and it's a little after four o'clock. As you can see, I am laying in bed because I feel so tired. I tried to wake up early this morning, set my alarm for 7.30, didn't get up until 8.30. Um, and I wish that I would have just like let myself sleep in a little later because Tell me if anyone else does this. I think I read something online that's called like revenge procrastination or something like that, where like before I'm about to go to bed, that's when I'm like finally allowing myself to unwind. So I'm like, well, let me allow myself to get like the full amount of like me time. Let me watch a 45 minute show and play Animal Crossing for 30 minutes and do all this other stuff that I didn't get to do because I was busy throughout the day. So last night, um, I typically try and only watch like a 20 minute show before bed, but I saw last night that Good Girls came back, which is one of my all time favorite shows. It is so good and just so funny. 
Um, so I stayed up pretty late watching that because it's like an hour long with like ads on Hulu and stuff because can't afford to pay for ad free Hulu. Um, so as a result today I am very tired and I need to continue working on finishing up that reading list and I need to write like paragraph descriptions for each section. And I still need to read another article before my independent study tomorrow, but I feel really drained right now. So I'm thinking of getting um, a smoothie from somewhere maybe and watch more Good Girls to rest before I get back into working. wanted this to be a smoothie bowl but couldn't get the consistency right said so forget it it's just gonna be a smoothie for me today what do we have for dinner tonight we have southwestern foil pack of chicken along with a little spinach and strawberry salad let's get a close-up on that I think that was better before it got all mixed up and some cilantro lime rice. Ooh. And? And pepper jack cheese and limes. It's hot like me. You're on the vlog. Hey. Say something. Try, you need to bring the camera at all. <laughs> what am I supposed to do? I don't have any tricks. <laughs> Just say hello. <laughs> no, I'm nervous. I thought about it and I can't do it. She said you'll be on the vlog. Do something she's recording. You're recording right now? <laughs> Dallas Joy? <laughs> That's a difference. <laughs> Thank you, like, but I forgot. <laughs> okay, so it is 9.53 p.m. Been a little moment since I talked to the camera. Um, I have just been working on my reading list and taking some breaks for FaceTime. So I FaceTime my sisters for a little while because I'm going to visit them this weekend. I'm actually going to leave tomorrow. I was actually going to leave tomorrow morning and like pack tonight, but clearly that is not happening. <laughs> so I'm just going to leave tomorrow when all of my Zoom meetings and teachings are done and just get there like later tomorrow night um, because I, I need tomorrow morning to continue working on things and I don't know if I'm gonna get to the article that I'm supposed to read until tomorrow morning anyway. It's only like 20, 25 pages so it's definitely something I could do in an hour or two before class starts at noon because um, I really want to get this reading list squared away as complete of a second draft of it as I can get. So that's the writing list as it's coming together at this point. Um, I'm hoping to submit it tonight so I can talk to my chair at my independent study tomorrow more about it. Um, but right now I think I'm going to take a break, eat some ice cream, and then when I come back I'm going to try and write like short paragraphs. I don't know if I'm going to do a free writing style or if I'm going to like actually make it, you know, solid writing and comprehensible um for each of the sections to explain my thoughts but I actually think it was really helpful just to like talk that out loud to the vlog um so now when I sit down to actually write it I have something going for me I know that I'm able to articulate it out loud so let's see if I can articulate it via words on my computer screen Forever and Okay, it is 12.25 a.m. <laughs> I wish I could say I don't frequently stay up this late, but I do. <laughs> this week has been just particularly rough, and like I mentioned, I knew today was going to be, like, very packed and full of a lot of stuff. My cat is trying to come in my room once again. So I sat down to write up all that stuff that I was just, like, magically able to tell this vlog <laughs> when I sat down to put it into words of course you write as you learn your ideas take shape as you're writing 
and I initially really liked what I was writing and I was like yes this is good I'm feeling it I am like in the zone and then as it continued I was like wait what what's going on so I think I'm gonna go ahead and email my professor just a list of the texts and like the names of the categories and stuff and just let him know that I attempted to start writing um but I just don't feel comfortable sharing it yet because it's still very much in process and it probably won't do him any good to read it. It'll just confuse him and probably make him worry about if I belong in grad school or not. It is finally time for bed at almost 1am next to my stomach and acid that I was chugging straight from the bottle today. <sighs> A long day, definitely. Was it productive? Yes. Do I still go to bed feeling guilty because I feel like I didn't get enough done? Still yes. If you made it through the whole vlog, thanks so much for watching. I know that this vlog and my previous vlog has been <laughs> pretty hectic and I'm not trying to be like negative or anything on here, just trying to be very realistic about what my life as a grad student is currently like. So at this stage in my PhD progress, it's pretty tough. Um, but again, thanks so much for watching. Making these vlogs is always just like a really much needed creative outlet for me. And it means so much that I have people supporting this. So um, comment on this video, like it, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I will see you guys in the next one.